Hello guys, this is Rajasekhar Deshikani. Now I am going to uh, show you the creation of complex views uh, in database. So let us see my screen to understand the complex views uh, creation in Oracle database. So uh, here just observed, uh, we know very well uh, simple views can be created on single base table. In previous session, we have seen the uh, simple, uh, simple views creation. So uh, we know very well a uh, simple views can be created on a single base table. When it comes to when it comes to complex views, these views can be created on multiple tables. Here simple views can be created on a single base table. When it comes to complex views today session, these complex views can be created on multiple base table. This is the main difference between the simple views and the complex views. So let us see uh, the examples for this. Let us see examples for this uh, topic. Here we have the two tables. Name uh, names are EMP underscore HYD, EMP underscore Chennai. HYD means Hyderabad. Here we have two tables name EMP underscore HYD, EMP underscore Chennai. So under EMP underscore uh, HYD table is is having three columns and three rows. And the uh, employees names are E name means employee names, EID means employee ID, and uh, salary column means salary. So there, uh, there are three employees are working under the EMP underscore HYD. Similarly, uh, EMP underscore Chennai table. We are also we are having three columns and three rows. Uh, EID is there and uh, E name is there. Salary is there. So, so uh, we to if you want to uh, combine these two tables. That means if you uh, if you want to combine this HYD EMP underscore HYD and EMP underscore Chennai table. Uh, so for that uh, we just want to uh, we just have to. Uh, uh, use the union operator. You just uh, have to use the union operator. Lord, let us see the syntax for using uh, union operators to combine about two tables. Are uh, is uh, select star from select star from EMP underscore HYD, and um, I'm going to mention union operator to combine the tables. So the second table name is select star from EMP underscore Chennai. Here select means select means retrieving the data. And star means all columns of a particular data from which you can uh, from which you can uh, retrieve the data. That, that particular uh, table name you, were, you should mention here. And uh, uh, and between that uh, uh, first table data, you need to mention the uh, union. And after that, uh, you need to uh, retrieve the data of the second table. That means select star from EMP underscore channel. Let us see how this query uh, is work out from this uh, Oracle database. So uh, I need to open the Oracle database by using the SQL plus tool. So I got opened the Oracle database through the SQL plus. I just want to clear my screen to understand easily. So here we have two tables EMP underscore HYD that means uh, Hyderabad and EMP underscore Chennai. Here we have these two tables. So uh, we need to combine these two tables by using the union operator by using uh, by using union union operator by using union operator. So if you want to uh, combine this EMP underscore HYD and EMP underscore Chennai by using union operator, first of all you need to know about the details. What are the details? What are the columns and the records of the EMP table and EMP underscore HYD table and EMP underscore Chennai table. So we know very well the query to retrieve a particular data, a particular table's data. So uh, that means I need to open the EMP underscore HYD table. So uh, for that purpose, so we have the query is here. Select star, select star from EMP underscore HYD. So I'm going to open the details of the HYD table, EMP underscore HYD table. So I got the result. And here uh, EMP table is having, we know, oh, we know very well, uh, it is also, this EMP table is uh, having three columns and three rows. Similarly, we need to see the, I want to see the records, what are the records, that means what are the records and what are the pro columns are there in a EMP underscore Chennai table also. So I'm using this query to fetch out the result records of, result, fetch out the records of the Chennai table. Here also Chennai table also having three columns and three rows, and uh, I need to combine this uh, 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 combine this uh, EMP underscore HYD table and uh, EMP underscore Chennai table by using union operator. For that uh, union operator to combine this about two tables, we have the query is select star 
select star from emp underscore hyd and we are going to use the union operator here union operator here and the second table names we need to tell the second table name we need to add the second table details so for that i am going to use uh, combining second table here in the union operator so select star from emp underscore chennai so uh, this is the uh, syntax to combine above above two tables this is the syntax by using the union operator to combine above emp underscore hyd table and emp underscore chennai table let us see the result what will be going to have what will be going to happen here is means just observe my screen to find out the or uh, find out the uh, output for this query is yeah generally uh, this is the output uh, having uh, three columns and five rows here we have uh, three columns in under the hyd table emp underscore hyd table and uh, three columns under the emp uh, underscore channel table but it fetched only five rows five rows from the both the table why it is happened means why it is happened means in generally generally uh, generally uh, union means here union means let us assume that uh, we have uh, two sets uh, a set is having the values of 2 comma 5 comma 6 comma 8 and b set is having uh, 2 comma 5 comma 7 comma 9 so if you uh, if you if you use the union operator between if you use the union operator between a and b sets then the result will be in the form of 2 comma 5 comma 6 comma uh, 7 comma 8 comma 9 just observe the uh, this result this is this whatever the output just you observe here it retrieves the 2 from the both the sets it retrieves the 5 from the both the sets it retrieves the 6 from the both the set like this so it skipped one uh, it skipped uh, one one of the value of the both uh, one of the value of the duplicate values of the both the sets here you need to find uh, the duplicates are here 2 and 5 are the duplicates from the both the tables that is why it it, it, it fetched only one time one time for those uh, duplicate values here so that is why 2 and 5 are repeated two times here two times here that is why it is going to be uh, fetched the two and uh, these 2 and 5 values only one time here and the rest of the uh, remaining uh, values are as this it, it, it fetched here so this is the meaning of a and B, A union B. So or like this. So it is also fetching. It is also fetching the uh, values having uh, having five rows and three columns. So here just observe the screen. Uh, here EMP underscore HYD table is having uh, one employee uh, EMP EID is one zero two one and his name is Sai and he is getting twenty five thousand as a salary. So similarly under the EMP underscore Chennai, uh, one employee uh, ID is 1021 and uh, he, his name also Sai and he is also getting 25,000 here also he is getting 25,000 that is why these are the common rows among these two tables. So these are the duplicate values among these two tables that is why uh, the result of union to combine these two tables it gives the only one, one value from these two both uh, from this bo both duplicate values it's going to fetch only one psi one size record only it fetched remaining of the uh, uh, remaining of uh, four employees details are as it is it fetched now so this is the meaning of union set operator in uh, oracle database so this is the union of uh, about two tables that means the, the combination of about two tables that means combination of emp underscore hyd table and a emp underscore chennai table by using union operator this is the result so our purpose of creating complex views and multiple table means now i am going to uh, creating a complex views on multiple tables that means that is nothing but i am going to creating a complex view complex view complex view on both the, these two above uh, two tables that means now i am going to uh, creating this complex views on uh, both the two tables means the result of the combination of the both the two tables the result of the combination of the both the emp underscore hyd table and uh, emp underscore chennai table simply i am going to create in this complex views on the combination of combination result of the both about two tables so simply this is the meaning of the complex views 
so in in simple views what what we have done what we have done means uh, in yesterday's session in previous session so we we created a simple view on a single base table how we uh, how we did create uh, that uh, how we did create that uh, simple views on a single base table in yesterday's session let's see uh, once again the syntax for simple views creation on a particular single base table so for simple views create view this is the syntax for simple views creation on single base table in previous session so create view uh, suppose uh, some some name you should take the some view name is uh, sv uh, sv2 sv2 uh, as name should be in any uh, should name can be in any of uh, any of the form but uh, it should be in the characters only whatever the name do you want to assign for a, a view you can assign there is no limit to assign any any type of a view whether it is a complex view or simple view you can give any type of name but the name should be in characters only that is why uh, I, uh, we did a, uh, I created a name with uh, sv2 uh, this is syntax for the uh, simple views in, in previous session we have discussed uh, in yesterday's session so uh, how uh, how we wrote that uh, uh, query in the previous session is as uh, select star from generally simple views can be created on single base table so uh, i'm going to creating a simple view sv2 as uh, select star from a particular table name so uh, this query uh, the syntax particular table name the syntax we used in yesterday sessions to create a simple view create a simple view we used this query in previous session but uh, but today's session when it comes to complex view creation let us see the query will be uh, query will be in which form means let us see the screen so for complex views to creating a complex views on multiple tables we have the query is create create view this is the complex view now the name is cv1 i will take cv1 i am taking so create view that means complex view that name is cv1 i am assigning and uh, the creating a multiple table that means as select star from all columns of the multiple tables that means simply this is the meaning of multiple tables now this is the combination of emp underscore hyd table and the emp underscore chennai table that that is why now i am going to creating a complex view on this result only so that's why uh, i'm mentioning uh, as select star from same query i will i'm returning above, as per the above, above previous query so i'm going to creating an above above query only above query only just see my screen as select star from emp underscore hyd and i'm going to use union set operator and i'm mentioning the details of that means all details of the second table for that purpose here we have the query is select star from emp underscore chennai here second table name is chennai so <clears throat> we are creating the complex views here we are creating the complex view cv1 as select star from uh, as means here uh, we are going to um, creating cv1 on both the uh, two tables both the above two tables that means simply we are creating the simple view on the uh, result of the combination of uh, emp underscore hyd table emp underscore chennai table so let us see uh, whether it is going to be created the view or not let us see the screen to get the output to uh, now i am clicking the uh, enter button on from my keyboard to see the result so uh, view view got created view is created so uh, let us see uh, view uh, what are the records are there in view <coughs> complex view is mean so we here we have the query is select star from cv1 for view also same uh, syntax to uh, get the result for view also same syntax select star from uh, view name uh, for table also we have the same uh, syntax select star from particular table name to view to see a particular details of a particular table uh, you are using the select query that means select star from tab table name and for view also uh, we can, uh, if you want to fetch the records if you want to see the results of the particular views details uh, uh, we need to use the select star from uh, view name is cv1 here CV, cv1 means complex view 1 so, so 
so same result same as as we observed above combination of about two tables is this is the result and we just created a complex view on this table and getting the same same result why why it is getting the same result means in any 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 type of view any type of view is uh, suppose uh, we are creating a view on a particular table means so this is the image of a particular base table so here uh, cv1 also the image of a uh, combination of these two tables every view is behaving like a image only that's why these views are uh, also called as virtual virtual tables that means uh, a table a table in the mirror that, that is called virtual table so it doesn't uh, store any data and it doesn't occupy any any memory in the uh, oracle database so this is the uh, image this is the image of about two tables combination of about two tables so this is the uh, creation of a complex views <coughs> on oracle database uh, not only <coughs> on uh, we have completed two uh, two topics in uh, uh, oracle database the two types of views in oracle database that is a uh, simple views and complex views simple views and complex views as of now we we completed the uh, process of uh, process of simple views and complex views in oracle database so <clears throat> let us say um, next uh, we have the next uh, next uh, one is next one is a uh, note or uh, here we have the note in uh, complex views complex views are not support dm uh, not support or uh, dml operations all the time so uh, these complex views are not going to support uh, dml of that means uh, we are not going to uh, we can't be uh, we can't uh, insert a particular row to the existing table we can't update um, the particular row or to the existing tables we can't delete the particular rows from the existing table all the time that means all the time means some in some case in some cases in some situations it happens but uh, maximum maximum these complex views are not support dml operation in uh, for example uh, these go, uh, these are going to support dml operation in the case a base table is having constraint for example uh, if uh, if, a co if any one of the column of a particular base table is having unique key constraint rule and primary constraint rule then then only in such a situation only uh, complex views complex views complex views uh, are supporting dml operations except that uh, that constant rules having the particular column of a uh, particular column of a base table uh, in remaining 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 cases it will not support the dml operations all the time so this is the note of the complex views and uh, we see uh, here we have uh, another view is called a force view generally uh, generally a views are uh, generally views are created on the base tables on a particular base tables but force view can be created without the base table without the base, base table well, we know very well simple view can be uh, simple view can be created and uh, simple view can be created on uh, single base table and the complex views can be created at multiple base tables but here we have the force table force table is created on uh, views are created on base tables but uh, generally views are created on base tables but force view can be uh, created without base table so let us see the syntax for force view is uh, create uh, create force view as select star from uh, a particular uh, table name we need to uh, mention the particular table name uh, if you see the practical uh, practical example for this query uh, for this force view you can understand this force view topic easily so now i'm going to explain you how we can go into how we can uh, create a force table in oracle database so i want to just clear the screen to understand easily so now i'm going to create a <coughs> now I'm going to creating a force force view on Oracle database. So for that we have the create uh, we have the syntax is create force view as select star from particular table name. So so I'm creating the force view. So create force view here. 
course view and now i'm going to uh, assigning some name some name whatever the name uh, we can take here, here easily so i'm going to take the fp1 as a force name force view name and the syntax according to the syntax as select star from as select star from particular table name means uh, i am going to uh, assigning the table name is test this is the table name test is the table name so i just want to create this force view on oracle database uh, with the uh, table name test so what is going what is uh, uh, what will be happened in uh, what will be happen on uh, output just see my screen whether it is going to be created this whether this view is going to be created or not just see the output yeah we got the error here we cre we created a view with compilation error so uh, we are we, we we are created force view but it is having the compilation error so uh, this means so as uh, actually uh, our database is not having the test table but we created force view though though it is not have though the oracle is not having the test table now the force view is created the force view is created but having the compilation errors but it is having the compilation error so uh, if you want to uh, if you want to see uh, the, uh, the structure of the force view for example if you want to uh, uh, where we have the table is student student so if you want to see the structure of the student table means here we have the query is that means uh, if you want to see the uh, how many columns are there in student table here we have the query for the student table is uh, we need to describe the student table this is the query for uh, uh, query to see the structure of particular table particular table name is student student so uh, there are three columns in student table sid s name and cid so uh, it is the number sid means it is the number it is the family of number it is belongs to the family of characters cid is belongs to the family of the number so <clears throat> so like this like this uh, uh, we are we, we created the view now we created the view so i need to uh, see the what what how many columns are there in the view so for the purpose i need to uh, describe the uh, need to describe the fe1 force view so what is going to be happen to just see the output so yeah involved object for describe so uh, it, it shows there is no uh, such type of fe1 object in this oracle database so this is the error uh, this is the error we got to overcome this problem to overcome this problem we uh, actually uh, what we did here we created a force view with the test table but test table is not there in the oracle database that is why it is giving the uh, error is we created a view with compilation error and uh, the structure also we can't open the structure of the fe1 also we can't be open uh, in this oracle database because uh, we created this test table we created this fe1 force view on the uh, empty table that is uh, nothing table a table test is not uh, is not there in the oracle database that is why uh, it is not, it is not available to show the what, what type of columns are there in the fe1 and we can't uh, see the uh, details of the fe1 if you create the test table uh, to a table then only it is possible to see the uh, how many columns are there in the fe1 so to overcome this problem uh, now actually this force view is in deactivate mode so to activate this fe1 uh, force view uh, to uh, that means to overcome this problem by getting of these two errors to overcome this problem we just we should create the test table in the oracle first we should create the test table in the oracle first so now i am going to creating the test table so syntax for creating a table in our oracle database is create table i need to create the table table name is test here test and now i am going to uh, add the columns here so <clears throat> test table is having a uh, for example sid sid is it is it is, uh, it is having the data type it is what type of data type means sid means it is the number mark that's why i'm going to take integer data type and uh, name I'm, I'm going to take the second column second column is name so it is what type of uh, 
it is having uh, it, it is the what type of data type means it is the uh, number data type no that's why uh, it is the character data type so in today uh, character of instead of using character now i'm going to var char to for a name data type now var char to for a name column var char to i am giving the size for the character that means i am going to keep the um, length of the name is up to 20 20 characters this this is the meaning of var char to of 20 so i just want to create this test table work here to uh, something is missing right parenthesis yeah i did a mistake i i forgot about to close the right parenthesis here <coughs> so uh, creating again i'm creating the test table create uh, create table table test and having a uh, sid it is in this type um uh, name on name worker 2 var char 2 name it is a var character type that's why i am giving var char 2 var char 2 in previous query uh, i i i forget about the r here in var char i i didn't mention r here that is why uh, we didn't uh, create a uh, test table so <coughs> var char 2 Or get you up of giving the size of the uh, name twenty. So yeah, table tree. I got create. Uh, I have created the table two here. Table. I got created the test two test table here. So I need to open the structure of test table. Structure of test table here. Yeah, it is. Uh, it is having two columns. SID is uh, the family of number. That uh, that means the uh, SID data type is number and the name column and uh, it is it is the family of var char two that means name uh, name uh, data type is var char two having the size of twenty eight having the size of twenty eight this is the uh, description that means the structure of the test table uh, this uh, for for you to use or uh, to see uh, to see the structure of the test table we need to uh, use this query desk space table name means test so desk test means so we can uh, open the uh, structure of the uh, structure of the test table so we just created the test table now uh, this force view or this force view is in active state active state so let us see uh, uh, let's see the uh, structure of the force view structure of the force view is yeah we got the same columns because uh, we created this force view we created this force view we created this force view on the test table on the test table so uh, when while creation we didn't create the test table while creation of force view fv1 uh, on that time we didn't create the test table but uh, we created the uh, view fv1 with compilation error so that means so we created the f1 but it is in deactivate form so uh, that's why we are getting a uh, invalid object for this describe so to overcome this problem we need to uh, create the test table after after creation of test table only we can activate this force view fv1 this is the force view uh, we have uh, discussed the simple views uh, simple views complex views and force views <coughs> these are the three types of views in now uh, oracle database so <coughs> uh oracle database so if you want to uh, if you want to uh, if you want to uh, see uh, if you want to see all the views in a database uh, how uh, how many types of views uh, we are created we are created as of now to see how many views are there in our uh, oracle database here we have the query is select select view underscore name from the uh, users uh, users underscore views this is the query to see how many how many views are uh, views that we are, we are created in database so for that purpose we have the query is select view <coughs> underscore name from users underscore views this is the data dictionary this is called the this query is called the data dictionary to view how many views are there as of now we created in database this is the query and this query is called the data dictionary to 
view all the views in the database so now i'm going to uh, show how many views are we are having in the database means we are having in the database means i just want to clear the screen cl yeah i need to i need to uh, see how many how many uh, views are created in the database as of now so let us see the list of views that that uh, which are which are created by us as of now i need to see by using this query is select view name this is the data dictionary query to see how many views are there in the uh, database that we have created uh, as of now from users underscore views this is the query so let us see how uh, let us see the output uh, what will be happens in the output user or uh, user spelling is again i am mistaken sorry for the inconvenience so here is the query to see uh, how many views that we are created as of now select uh, view underscore name from user user underscore views so this is the uh, data dictionary query uh, to see how many uh, views uh, are created by us as of now to see the result i am clicking on the enter button to get the list of the views that we are created as of now in the oracle database just see yeah these are the views we created in the database i created cv1 and cv3 cv4 fv1 uh, fv 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 sv sorry sv and sv1 sv2 sv3 sv4 v1 and uh, vs1 these are the uh, these are the views as of now i created in this database so to view to see all the uh, views whatever whatever the views that you created in database to see all the uh, view all the views names by using this query only you can see the all the list of the uh, views in our database that we are created as of now these are the create uh, these are the views i created in this database these are the names of the uh, views i created in the database till date till today so this is the uh, way to see the uh, how many uh, how many number of views are there how many types of views are there this is the uh, this is the query to see the list of uh, views whatever the views uh, here doesn't matter here sv is a simple view uh, v is a simple view cv1 is a complex view fv1 is a coarse view so uh, for all the views we have only one syntax to uh, see how many views are created on this uh, uh, databases this is the query <coughs> so if you want to if you uh, if you created a view and uh, some views are created by us but uh, if you want to dropping a view from your database means if you want to delete if you want to delete a particular uh, view from the database here the syntax is delete drop means in computer terminology drop means delete so drop uh, drop space view space view name this is the syntax to uh, this is the syntax to delete a particular view from the database let us see how uh, how we can drop a view from the database means here we have the uh, so many views cv1 cv3 cv4 fv1 sv as we like this we have so many views i need to drop one one view from the database uh, so for that i need to delete one 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 view from the database drop i need uh, i need to drop one one view that means i need to drop cv1 i need to drop cv1 here cv1 so i am dropping the cv1 from the database that means i am i am deleting the cv1 from this database cv1 from the database so i am just see the result uh, whether it is going to be deleting or not so one view is dropped one view is dropped from this database cv1 view is dropped from the database let us see the result again i want to uh, open uh, open the list of the uh, views that we are created and dropped from the uh, views so for that purpose now i am going to uh, rewrite this query again to see whether this cv1 or cv1 from the database is deleted or not to see again i am writing select view underscore name from the user underscore views select 
view underscore name from user underscore views yeah uh, this is the uh, list of the uh, list of the views in oracle database so here we don't have the a uh, cv1 name so that is uh, because we dropped here we dropped the cv1 that is why uh, this database is not having the cv1 here this is the process to uh, drop a uh, particular view drop a particular view uh, that means uh, this is the process to delete uh, a particular loop uh, a particular sorry uh, this is the process to delete a particular uh, a view from the database by using drop view particular view name so this is the process here uh, we deleted cv1 that's why we are not getting the cv1 in this output this is the process uh, to create and uh, implement and drop drop of a view this is the concepts of views in uh, oracle database okay guys thank you very much thank you